Uh, and very quickly, uh, Nancy, as well, uh, the, we've received, uh, received word uh, that uh, tens of prominent business leaders uh, will be uh, soon officially endorsing uh, Hillary Clinton. Uh, what do you know about who's on the list and the impact they hope it has? That's right. The Clinton campaign is rolling out this list of, of 40 prom prominent businessmen today, businessmen and women, I should say. Uh, they are the CEOs, the chairs of a variety of big name companies like Boeing, Netflix, Airbnb, um, uh, GM, all kinds of, uh, uh, of different companies, including some uh, business people who are longtime Republicans. And the Clinton campaign is trying to make the case after she rolled out some of her economic proposals yesterday and slammed Donald Trump's economic proposals on Tuesday uh, that the business community is behind her and that the business community, furthermore, is concerned about Donald Trump. It would certainly then uh, counter, Steve, uh, suggestions made uh, by Donald Trump uh, regarding his business acumen. What kind of boost would it be for her? Well, it's a boost in the sense that she can brag that, that Republicans are starting to support her. I and mean, it's not just business, uh, the business world. Uh, she, she got an endorsement yesterday from Brent Scowcroft and received support from Richard Armitage, two big uh, national security folks who worked for Republican presidents. And so she can make the argument that Donald Trump is losing support of people in his own party. They're afraid, uh, at least they say, they're afraid of what Trump is going to bring as, as if he's elected president. Uh, and so she can just use that as a talking point, saying, hey, if Republicans are jumping to my side, uh, then and, you know, why would you even consider voting for Donald Trump? Congressional correspondent Nancy Cordes, uh, senior political editor Steve Shigaris, we appreciate your time. Thank you. Thanks.